Hello guys and welcome to Lock-in Project. Today I'm going to do a quick speed test between the Honor 8X and the Motorola One. Why exactly both of those phones? Well, because they're pretty much the best mid-range phones you can get in the UK for about £200. So, on the left corner we've got the Honor 8X, which rocks the brand new Kirin 710 CPU. That's a 12 nanometer chip. It has four Cortex A73 cores clocked at 2.2 GHz, another four Cortex A53 cores clocked at 1.7 GHz. It rocks the Mali G51 GPU. I get the base version of 64 gigs and 4 GB of RAM. The display is 6.5 inch 1080 by 2340, which totals of about 2 million 527,200 pixels to push. And on the right hand side I've got the Motorola One, which rocks the Snapdragon 625, which is well, like 2 years old now. Uh, that's a 14 nanometer SoC, it has 8 A53 cores clocked at 2 GHz, it rocks the Andreon 506 GPU, I've got the base version of 64 gigs with 4 GB of RAM, it has a 5.9 inch 720 x 1520 screen which totals of about 1,094,400 pixels. So basically over here the Honor 8X has 2.5 times more pixels to push and of course a more powerful SoC. So which one is quicker? Let's find out. Okay guys, the phones are ready. I have matched the brightness to both phones to my eyes. That's probably 95% and 90 over here. Both are connected to a Vulkan 5 Wi-Fi network and both animations are set to 0.5. So how I'm going to do that? I'm going to open up a bunch of applications, a bunch of games to see which one loads up faster. After that, I'm going to do a RAM check because they're both have 4 gigabytes from. After that, I'm going to run the benchmarks and finally, I'm going to do a stress test to see which CPU handles heavy load better guys. So without further ado, I've got no other applications running in the background. So let's start with Chrome over here. One, two, three. Okay. Definitely the Honor 710 was quicker and that's the time that you can hit the subscribe button guys. Help a small YouTuber out over here. I really appreciate your help. Now let's continue to Twitter. Let's see which one is going to load up quicker. Yes, the new chipset loads up quicker, guys. Now let's proceed to Google Plus. Let's see. Again, that was close. That was close. The Honor 8X was a little bit quicker in that case. Let's proceed to Instagram. Let's see which one. Okay, Instagram was actually quicker. Instagram was quicker on the Snapdragon 625 over here, guys. And finally, YouTube. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Again, the Kirin was a little bit quicker. So, up-wise, absolutely no problems. Now, let's start the games with PUBG. Quite a heavy game, guys. And one thing I should point out while we're waiting for the game to load up that on the Motorola one you don't have any settings for a full screen display usually PUBG is quite optimized and as you can see it doesn't really fill up the space over here where the notch is which I'm not particularly a fan of but what can you do and now the Kirin 710 seems quite a lot quicker than the Snapdragon 625 but don't forget this is two year old SOC guys but once again this phone has two and a half times more pixels to push due to the 1080p plus screen and as you can see oh man this is slow come on motorola you can do better than that actually the optimization of the motorola one is quite good guys i'm working on the full review now and it should be up in the next few days so stay tuned for that actually uh let me get rid of this stuff because we're gonna need it in the ram management after that, okay, so let's proceed to Metal Madness. That's a new game that I've recently discovered. It's not bad, it's not it's not you know that spectacular, but it's not bad just to kill some time. And again, the Honor 710 is a lot quicker than the Snapdragon 625, guys. To be honest with you, I expected this difference to be smaller, but unfortunately it isn't. So let's proceed to Mortal Kombat uh Eins van Drei. Let's see which one is going to load up quicker. So, so far only one application, actually Instagram loaded quicker on the Snapdragon 625, guys. And nothing else. Let's see. Okay, the Honor 710 is already in, guys. This is not good news for the Motorola over here. Angry Birds 2. Let's pop them open. To be honest with you, 
I'm really not a fan of the new Snapdragon 636 SoC. I don't think it's properly optimized and actually Snapdragon 625 is better optimized on some phones. But Snapdragon 660 is on another level, guys. I've never tried the Snapdragon 710, which I'm really, you know, up to in the next few phones. But um, let's see. And the honor was again quick over here, guys. No surprises. And now let's open up the last game, Shadow of Death. Let's see. Are we going to get a win at least once? No? Nah, we didn't get the win. Okay, let me uh, write it too late. Anyway, you can see that the honor was quick, you guys. I mean, no doubt about that. Uh, let's just wait a sec for this application to load. All right. Okay. Now, pretty much that's it. I've already opened all the applications. So now I'm going to start opening them up in the reverse order to see which one is kept in the RAM, guys. So let's start with Chrome over here. Okay, the Chrome was opened here and it had to reload on the owner. Okay, that's a surprise. Twitter, how about Twitter? Okay, Twitter was open over here and it had to reload over here. Fair enough, Google Plus. It was open here, it had to reload over here, that's fine. Okay, Instagram had to reload on both phones. YouTube had to reload on both phones, unfortunately. Now, what about the games? Any kept in the RAM? Nah, PUBG is not kept in the RAM, unfortunately, guys. Let's see Metal Madness. Nah, not really, no. Can you imagine that the new pixels are coming with just 4 gigabytes of RAM? Pretty much nothing is kept in the RAM. Okay, the Mortal Kombat was kept in the RAM in the Motorola. Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I am excited, actually. This is good, guys. This is good for the Motorola. Now, Angry Birds 2. Let's see how about that. Okay, Angry Birds is in the RAM. Yes. <laughs> All right. And last application, the Shadow of Death. Let's see. Yes, Shadow of Death is kept in the RAM, guys. So, to conclude my speeding test so far, the Honor 8X is quicker in all scenarios, but the RAM management on the Motorola is actually better considering both phones have only four gigs of RAM, guys. So let me check the battery temperatures and let's see which phone uh, is actually acting, um, you know, hotter. I've got 28 degrees on the Moto and 30 degrees on the Honor. Now, let's have a look at the applications, uh, the benchmarks, I mean, and Geekbench. You can see the history that I got over here, guys. Basically, the Kirin 710 is better than the 625, as you can see from this Geekbench scores over here. But gaming is something else. And that's why I'm going to run Epic Citadel quickly, guys. And uh, I guess I'm going to see you in a sec when I get the results to see which phone is going to push a higher FPS. So let me just load it up like that. Okay, guys, so Epic Citadel is ready and the results are pretty much equal. 59.7 for the Moto and 59.4 for the Honor over here. That is fine. And we're going to do a Kazja benchmark now. Another very good benchmark, which actually measures the maximum available FPS that you can get on a game, guys. So I'm going to run it like that. It's quite of a... Um, a quick one so in the meantime uh, i'm gonna tell you that both of those reviews for those phones are coming down on my channel next week guys and uh, let me know in the comments down below if you like me to do a full comprehensive uh you know comparison between both of those phones to see which one offers better value for money because different people like different things and uh, the Honor has a you know really nice shiny back over here. The Motorola is essentially an iPhone XR uh, clone, but um, <laughs> yeah, some people like that. And it's quite a lot smaller, guys. The battery as well is smaller, but actually the battery life is pretty comparable. So let's see what the results from the Kazja are. That's, that's one of my favorite applications, by the way, because it gives you a really good result of what a phone is actually capable of and let's see what the final result is guys on both of those phones okay 62,000 versus 75,000 over here 37 average fps versus 31 fps man i'm actually surprised that uh, it turns out that the gaming performance is actually better on the motorola one over here 
So, the next thing that I'm gonna do now, guys, is check the battery monitor over here. 32 degrees on the motor, 37 degrees on the owner, guys. Man, 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 man. Now, I'm going to kill all the applications over here. And I'm gonna start the battery application once again. And now I'm gonna go to Antutu. Let me see if I have actually run Antutu before. Okay, Antutu doesn't run on the motor for whatever reason. Give me a second to fix it and I'm gonna come back in a sec, yeah? Okay guys, so I finally got on Tutu running on the Motorola and as you can see the results, obviously this one is better, but I'm going to run the test once again to see which one is going to heat up more guys. So see you in a sec, yeah? Okay guys, so the Honor ATX just completed the Antutu test in a reasonable time where the Motorola still struggles to finish it. I'm just going to wait it up for a second. I can imagine that the uh, temperature management is going to be better. Guys, check this out. 38 degrees over here on the Honor 8X, which is actually excellent. It's not too bad. I've seen results over 48 degrees. And Motorola over here, let's see what is the battery temperature at the moment, guys. That's 34 degrees over here excellent results overall from both phones and now what i'm gonna do on antutu you can see the results for yourself over here guys and what i'm gonna do over here is i'm gonna do a stress test between both of those phones to see how those socs are handling you know heavy load which one is going to you know throttle first and uh this and that so let's check it out in a sec yeah Okay guys, so our test is almost over and you can see that the screen dimming is real on the Honor 8X. I guess under pressure at some point, that's what we get guys. And surprisingly, the Motorola finished the test first, which is supposed to take exactly 15 minutes. But let's see what we're dealing with. First of all, the temperature. How is the temperature going on over here guys? 40 degrees over here, 43 degrees on the Honor. Let's see how hot they feel. A little bit hot, a little bit, not that much, but man, this phone is hot, especially in this area over here. So yeah, the screen dimming, I guess, is some sort of a preventive measure on the Honor devices. But let's see how those processors actually handle heavy load. As you can see, the Snapdragon um, 625 over here is almost at 100% all the time and I guess when it got a little bit hotter over here it went down to about 70, 100, 70%, 70% over here and the owner unfortunately check this out guys 100%, 40%, 100%, 40% all the time this is not a very good management and it tells us that when this processor is under extreme pressure it throttles quite a bit, gets back up again i guess when it drops a temperature or something like that but man this one is more stable which means in a long gaming sessions you'll be better off with this phone so yeah that's pretty much it guys thank you very much for watching i really hope you liked my test let me know in the comments down below whether i should include or exclude something from those tests again thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one